Hello, how's everybody going? This is Zap, aka Zaptrocity, and recently Generic B made a small little video in it on an awesome aquariums. So if you haven't seen that, I suggest you go check that out if you haven't already. But anyways, anyways, this video is a little response to it. So his video on that uh, inspired me to make a little bit on some alternative fish tanks and aquariums I have made in the past. Very similar to the ones I've used in episode 61, I think, of Zap's Minecraft world. Um, I also wanted to show you guys some lamppost designs, which we will get to very soon. But enough rambling, let's go on to some of these fish de tank designs. So right here is a very basic, compact and simple one. Very little redstone is needed. Um, it's very simple. All you need to do is push the button and whoops. And what happens is some fish get dispensed. So since um, fish get randomly dispensed, it, they will like, you know, appear in different spots. They will kind of circle around and sometimes they'll even do a little dance for you. But unfortunately, they don't seem very lively today. Um, the cool thing about this is that you can go pick up the fish in case you don't want it de to despawn. You know, you can do all sorts of things. So right here, I've just got some hoppers to throw in my fish, you know. Um, what you should do is have hopper minecarts, which I will show you a little later. Some very simple wiring, as you can see right there. It can also be modified so you can hide everything, but I just wanted this one here because it has a nice 360 degree view. You can even view it from the top if I replace that with some glass. There you are. So you can see it from all the sides. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So moving on from there, I have modified it slightly and now we have the, a nice little pretty one. So this one I have, it, it's symmetrical. So we've got a button here and a button there, which activates just the same and fish come out. Now what I've done here is I've extended out the wiring a bit more so that we have our second input, which is right there. And we also have um, some ambient water sounds too, so we can hear like the fish swimming. Oh, the, there you are. Did you see that fish do, do a little jump there? Yeah. And we also have a five minute despawn timer. So as soon as the fish despawn, um, some more fish will get dispensed too. Um, I know that in generics one, there is a lot of clicking sounds, so that might not be the greatest idea. Um, you know, these alternative designs are just, be, you know, sometimes people want something different. So just a few designs out there. Anyways, I've also changed it a bit too. This one here is a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Very nice. Oh, there, there's the 5 uh, minute despawn time in action. Unfortunately though, we pushed the button so it didn't work out as planned. Um, I've got squid spawned in there. Whoops. <laughs> but anyways, we push the button and it does its thing. Fish come up. Yay. Um, you won't be able to pick the fish up as easily. But I also have ice like in his aquarium. Works out nicely. Just have a off lamp there because didn't want to melt the ice. Um, very nice, has another 360 degree view. You can also use some glass too. I've just got a bit of water there, which isn't actually necessary with the ice, but you can also decorate it however you want with larger aquariums like this. Works just the same. Um, with these ones, you have hopper minecarts here, so you can throw in your um, you know, fish like that. So if we just break out these blocks, you can see they're stuck in the block like that and that works all fine. Um, the fish get into the dispenser just fine. So yeah, you can do all sorts of crazy things. You can even have maybe an aquarium like this. Um, you would have to, if you want to have loads of fish in here, you would have to put in a whole heap of dispensers. It can be modified, but the general concept of it is by using item elevators to um, transfer fish upwards into the tank and just let them sit around there. Sometimes they like to do a little dance because of the glitchy way how items work, but all in all it works pretty nicely. Um, if anyone out there wants a tutorial, I can surely make one. Um, making different uh, sizes will d depend on, you know, how big it is, the weird shapes where you want your dispensers and all of that, but as you can see, it's not too hard to build. So those are some um, little ideas for anyone out there who wants to have like a little fish tank. It's really good for like a little corner in your house and you don't know what to put in the middle of your house or maybe in this little barren corner so you can throw in a fish tank. It's awesome. There you are. So yep, yeah, pick up the fish if it 
you don't want it to, to despawn, easy and simple. So there are the flaws of it, the items despawning, you still have to hear the clicking sounds and pistons when you want to activate it. Redstone can be changed too, so you can have different types of input methods. As you can see right here, we've got the 5 minute despawn timer. You could also hook up daylight sensors, whatever you really want. It's very, um, you can modify it to your own needs. So yeah, that yeah, it's just some alternative designs as, you know, not everyone has amount, the amount of space generics one has, or maybe some people don't like the clicking sounds, some people want different and weird little aquarium shapes and so on. So yeah, let's move on to some lamppost designs I thought were pretty cool. Um, I showed this off before in one of my episodes of Zap's Minecraft World, but um, I thought I'd make a little video on it too. So these are some weird designs for the lamppost, but it's not about how the design because I, I didn't I didn't really spend a lot of time um, thinking about it. It's still a little bulky, but um, it's the idea about it. So what happens here is um, a daylight sensor has emits a signal strength of a certain amount depending on what time it is in the day. So it's about midday, so we get a full signal strength. Now as the sun slowly sets. We get mobs spawning around here, about my test, round about there. So as you can see, it slowly dies down. Oh, that was quick. Um, oh, oh, it's reset today. That's why. And yeah. So what I've seen with most daylight sensing lampposts is that they have like a, um, a one of the daylight sensors up top with the lamps, and they have their lamps close by. So they have them about here, and they have to you know use pistons. I've seen a lot of ones using pistons to detect um, whether it's day or night and they have a redstone block here and what happens is as soon as it turns off the redstone block retracts and the redstone block gets placed there lighting up all the lamps. That's great and all but that only happens when it's like pitch black in the middle of the night where half pretty much there are mobs spawning everywhere on the ground which isn't something you want so with this design right here you have the daylight sensor out of the way somewhere else and basically what happens is if we turn it to night time right here we can see that um, it will slowly set and what happens here is the daylight sensor will actually um, turn this on as just before the mobs can spawn in so um, we'll, we'll be able to see that in action Aha, there we are. So as you can see what happens is we have a piston and it just pushes like a little pillar of sand or gravel or whatever you want up and basically if we take a look at the wiring here, see mobs are just starting to spawn in just in time. You can also adjust it too. But um, as you can see it's very simple. Piston pushes some sand up and we've just got a block powering that so it can power the lamps. And as soon as you turn it to daytime we can turn it later there, it just retracts that and it turns off too. So it works very nicely. It can be adjusted so you can have it at, I know, I don't know, maybe you want it off at nights and I don't know, you want it on and during the day. It's really up to you what you want to do with it. It's all modified, modif uh, whatever. <laughs> it can all be modified. You can change the designs so you can hide the gravel and stuff. So it's, yeah, that, that's basically all I needed to show you guys today. If you do want any tutorials or you want any help on this, feel free to ask. Um, but yeah, just a few ideas here and there I wanted to share with you guys because some of these ideas I think are pretty cool and I would like to see some of these in some um, people's bases and worlds. So if you want a tutorial, please leave a comment and hope you fully generic sees this and you can, you know, maybe get inspired to um, do some other fish tanks in his world too. Maybe have maybe set up a little fish fish shop too. Fish tank shop too. Yeah, vintage beef will might have a little bit of competition. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed, and hopefully you can use this too. So that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed, and take it easy. I'll see you later.